Gone surfing, surfing USA. I, I need to win this game. Of course, it's not. Who is this? Good luck today. This is Scotty win. Another win. Okay, let's play Knight of Three. I think it's just Zortiz for the prime thing. Zortiz. Let's play B3. I'm just gonna play simple chess this time. No, no, no silliness. Just simple chess. He's pro levy. <laughs> Good one. Let's go here. Artemi was a huge Putin lover. I, I wouldn't know you guys, but I saw some comments about something along those lines recently. So, and it is what it is. This guy is pretty good. He's from Vietnam. He's like solid 2,600 plus player. Very respectable. Your blunder going to be all over, baby. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. You call what's it? It's you call it's all over, baby. Something like that, right? I don't remember the exact saying, but of course, uh classic Scotty win. Actually, someone in chat can tell me if I'm right or wrong, but isn't isn't um it w saying win is correct, right? It or is that just an American thing that we do? I, I mean it, No no not the saying you guys. I'm saying um I'm gonna play Queen D2 here. What what I'm saying is I'm saying that um when when Americans say win is it is it winner is it like Nick win or is like win just an American bastardization of the of it or not? I was just wondering because I don't actually know. Um, I'm gonna go B five here. You do pronounce it like win, okay? So it's not just an American thing that we just like decide to mess it up. Uh, I guess I'll play Knight C three here. If takes, I just take with a queen. It's correct. Okay. I wasn't sure because I mean, I know like I, 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 we Americans, we like to uh, take a lot of words and no bastardize them completely and butcher them to the end of the world and nth degree. So I just wasn't sure. Thank you so much for the 11 months nosebleed. Thank you so much to Avery Favre better for the two and IFHD for the prime. Um, I think I go back to D2 again, not C2 because I need his bishop f5. So Fairly balanced position. C5, I just trade, of course. I think I'm doing pretty well. He goes C, he goes A4, which to me looks a little bit suspicious. Just doesn't look quite right. I'll go here. Because C5, I'm definitely Johnny sacking Lopez materials. Subbed for six months. Nakamura clapped. Am I following the World Baseball Classic? Not closely. I saw that America is doing pretty terribly. Um, not surprisingly, but I mean, that, that's all that I know about the World Baseball Classic. Thanks so much to Johnny Mocus for the six and Soccers for the prime. Thank you. I think I'm doing quite well. My bishop is keeping an eye on this pawn. These pawns are a little bit soft here. Looks like a good position if he can't play c5. And I don't think he can, which is why he's using a lot of time here. Goes queen d7. Now, I assume I should take or should I play rook b1? Because he still wants to go c5, I think, at some point. I think I'll just take. And now the question is which rook to put on c1. Not an easy decision, but I don't know if I want b1, c1, or do I want c1, d1. I'm going to trust my instinct that he's not going to be able to penetrate on the b file here. And so the b file is going to be somewhat irrelevant. And the c and d files matter more as it relates to these, these weak pawns in front of his queen. How do I do this? Do I go rook c4? I just have to be careful of some silly bishop h6 nonsense. That's what I'm a little worried about. Okay, let's go here. Just my assumption is these pawns are weak, and this is where all the play is going to be in this game. But we'll see if I'm right or wrong. The end is not silent? Okay. I don't know, because we say, of course, everybody knows Scotty win. The, the most famous win of them all. Can play h3. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play h3, take some space here. You can go knight b5, and I'll just play like bishop b4. I mean, a3 is a move. It's also very committal, however. So I go here. I think there's like cold storm for the prime. They oxid oxidus for the prime, and j3 bigfoot for the prime. They work a4. I could play no d5 is bad so let's go I mean the question is how do I reroute this knight my knight is the only bad piece here my knight is the only piece that's misplaced in all all this 
queen c4 or i think i'm gonna take with a rook queen takes is five then he gets rook c8 and c5 as i said c5 is the only question can he do it or not Goes rook a8 queen c2 looks like a pretty decent move here bishop b4 of course decent 91 also decent i think i'm just gonna play 91 here Of course I misplayed this but mm. yeah it's got 96 which of course I completely overlooked <sighs> okay let's go here take the file I'm still probably better but it's not gonna be easy to win this I'm, I should be a little bit better if I'm precise but it's gonna be very tough to win hmm go bishop c1 or bishop c3 I think I'm gonna go here I think I'm actually gonna take with a pawn now bishop d6 is logical okay, let's go here force the trade Oh, did I just miss 95? I did. Just great. Okay, but in the end game, however, his pieces are a little bit misplaced. His pawn is too advanced here, actually. This might be winning for me if I'm precise. Because his pawn is too advanced here. This might be winning if I if I'm precise. Um go here. Of course I've misplayed this too. gonna be very tricky I have an outside pawn to push now he blundered now I should win I have this and takes yeah he blundered I can even pre-move King C2 because if he doesn't push it's an illegal move should be winning with the outside juicer I guess I push. But now the pawn should be too advanced, I think. Yeah, I win. My king's too close. Yeah. Very instructive end game. Very instructive. Okay, game? round eight, I get... Okay, I assume Chess Pan is playing uh, Billy. Yeah, they're, they're playing in round eight. So, it's our clip? Okay. I don't really want to play a Dutch. Against, against him, it hasn't really worked. He does well against King's Yay! Indians. Just took $5 I'm gonna play e6 I'm gonna play something a little bit less traditional okay plays this c5 is I'm, I'm trying to think of some kind of weird system that I can play all right let's just play normal let's just play traditional chess a four I mean d5 is completely reasonable but do I want to play it now let's just play something a little bit off the beaten path here Okay, I guess I'll just play G6. Probably 94 I should play at some point. Go here. Plays E4, which to me looks a little bit shaky. It doesn't look right. Yeah, it doesn't look right at all somehow. I could have played E5 right away also probably, but we'll see what he does.
guess I'll go e5, of course. Now, do I take with the knight or the pawn? Also a big question here. I'm going to take with the pawn. I'm just going to castle. He's thinking about knight d5, I just realized, which does exist. But I think I can go c6 here to kick the knight out of town. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not really, but... Getting another bad position out of the opening again. This is kind of starting to annoy me a little bit. I think I can do this. I have bishop c8 or something as well. Even knight b8 probably, or knight c5. I'll pre-move this in case he takes. Kind of a weird position. I don't know what's going on exactly here. And queen d2 could be an issue. It could also not be an issue, depending. It goes c5, which I kind of expected. Um, queen e7 is a move here. U L L L I I K just subscribed. Hikaru J A M. Which one do I want to play? I guess I'll just go here. I, I got to move a little bit quicker. I'm moving a little bit too slowly. I feel like he plays B4. And obviously trade here. I think I will trade. Again, I don't know what I'm doing though. I'm, I'm actually playing this really quite poorly. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing this very badly. Uh, maybe queen a5, though, is a move. Queen a5 kind of makes sense, I guess. Knight d2. Bishop a6 should be fine. Okay, blocks. Of course, I trade. Let's see. Go here. Here. Knight a5. I just have rook b8, of course. Although, even that looks a little bit shaky. I should be okay here if I play this carefully, but this is also the problem with this position. It's going to be very, very hard to win this. Yay! food just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Now, see here, I'm thinking about what his next move is going to be. I'm thinking about a specific line with a rook move. Not rook b1. That's not the move I was expecting. Um, bishop a8 is completely reasonable. I don't like it, but I think I have to put my bishop in the corner. And now I probably just start to bring my king over. And I should be okay. Should be okay. Because he can't really keep this pawn guard. If he moves the knight, we trade the rooks, he loses this pawn. So every piece is kind of a little bit weak for... Um, I guess bishop c4. Let's go here and rook b8. I mean, this looks completely fine now that I'm thinking about it. I okay, just go back. I guess bishop there. <laughs> I'm trying to find some way to create play, though. And this, If I go here, he's just going to play bishop a6 and... Hmm... I'll play h5. Go here. Although I can play rook c7, maybe. Maybe I can try. Yeah, he just wants to draw. If I play rook b8, he's going to go bishop c4 and make a draw. Because it's more important for him to ruin my day than it is to try and win the prize money. <laughs> really annoying. Or did I just actually blunder, potentially? I think I might have potentially blundered there. But okay, now I get the bishop out. He could, maybe he could have played knight a5 there. Maybe bishop c5, trade, 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 rook b8, king d7. Maybe not. Anyway, all right, the show goes on. Let's go here. Bishop c8 next move, I guess. Knight c4. King f8, I guess. I can even just... No, I can't. What am I doing? Okay, he plays rook d2, so he doesn't take advantage. Come up with moves here, though. Okay, just move, just move. Uh, 
Oh, did I just blunder this? I did, didn't I? Five's no good. Wait, that hangs a pawn. Okay, wait, wait, now it's game on again. Okay, now I should be winning. I should win now. I should win. His bishop is dead on the rim. Yeah, I'm gonna win now. Okay. Billy won again, ridiculous. Yeah, I gotta just go here and win. Gone surfing, surfing USA. Okay, we got the win. Billy won again, which is bad news, of course. He's on eight out of eight. Oh, great. I get a terrible pairing on seven out of eight. I get Ali Reza on six and a half, really? Probably the single worst pairing I could get here. But Ali Reza has to win, right? So I think I play I play I play the meta that he has to win and he can't play e5, right? Yeah, I have to play the meta. Should I play d4 c3 for the memes? Should I play d4 c3 for the memes? Yeah, let's play it for the memes. Let's play it for the memes. Playing for the memes in, in Title Tuesday is a little bit shaky, but oh he just ignores it. Very sad. Just ignores he ignores it. Okay, I'll take. This is something that um this is something that, uh, what's his name? Um, Chakra Mamadiarov used to play this against me all the time on ICC. Like, probably a good 15 years ago, Shaq and I would play a lot of Blitz games, and he would always play his Queen Takes D4, Queen E4 line against me. I could have just traded two, which is very dry, but I'm not interested in that. Okay, let's see. There's G3, Bishop G2, and Castles, probably. Maybe C4 is a move? I don't know. Okay. It's gonna go B6, I guess. Castles. I wonder if I should have played A4, maybe, but hard to judge. Okay, now Ali Rez is playing very slow, so this means that Ali Rez is treating this like a world championship game. So if he's treating it super seriously, I also kind of need to be somewhat serious because this means he's gonna be taking a lot of time in the opening phase. If I go a4, I should play knight e1. I can also play like bishop g5, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll just play bishop g5 to trade some b shops. Bishop c5, I'm probably going to go knight e1 and knight d3. That's my idea. Or knight bd2, knight b3 also is an idea. Knight e1. Because now there's no h6 to queen h5 as well. Castle. So I can obviously take the knight. Um, that looks a little bit dubious. I'm just going to play knight d3, play on the traditional side a little bit here. I got to finish the development. My knight and my rook are not in the game. That's the one problem I have. Now here I could also take again. I can also trade. Yeah, i probably just trade and go knight d2. I also have a4, c4 maybe. Takes, takes. Or just knight d2. A4 feels like the right move here for me, but it also feels... Also feels wrong somehow. But I'm going to do it. I think it's I, th I think it's a decent move. Let's play it. Yeah, I go here, finish my development. Of course, very important that I do that. Now, Bishop A6, I have C4 to win the knight. Rook C8, I expected that. No, I just... Oh, did I miss that, really? <laughs> I did miss that. Is there some stupid trick here? Oh, 
Uh, I'm trying to calculate this line to the end. Yeah, I'm probably also thinking too long here. C4 should be completely fine, but I need to win this game, which is the real issue here. If I didn't need to win this game, I could do just about anything and just be fine, but I need to win this game, which makes this really annoying. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I think it works with knight c4. Abayu 43 just resubbed for 12 months. I mean, either of this is going to work out great or I'm going to lose the game, basically. That's the good news. But this is basically the game. I use all this time here, and he's going to use all his time, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, does he have knight c3 too? Uh, I might have made a uh, wait there might be another line that I just completely overlooked I only looked at rook takes c3 here okay plays it I, I only looked at rook takes I think knight takes might have been a move <sighs> oh wait a second I rook a one's not a move knight c4 is a move Okay, let's go for it. And be five. Score ohm just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. No, why did I, what did I just? Oh, I just blundered. I think. Yeah, I just blundered badly. Or did I? Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. We're both making mistakes here. Wait a second. This is getting ridiculous. We're both blundering. I think. Okay, I'm just gonna try to bail out here and make a draw. I think I think knight c3. I think we're both blunt. I think we're both playing like terrible chess right now. I think we both made some really questionable decisions there. Four. No, it's just gonna be a, of course it's gonna be a draw right of course of course Of course. Obviously, it just has to be a draw. <laughs> oh, I hung the pawn, too. What the heck? Wait. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. It's getting tricky.
Wait, what the heck? Ay. I threw this game. Wait, there's a wait, there's a trick. Wait. I win. <laughs> Checkmate. Wow, what a game. Jeez. I threw that so badly. Where was the win, actually? I'm really curious. Where was the win in this end game? Oh, wait. Never mind. We get to play round 10. Oh, by the way, Billy Kimball lost, by the way. He lost his game. So, okay, I get double white. I'm just going to play Knight of 3. I don't even have time to analyze that game went for 20 years. Okay. But it's a win. That was funny. Yeah, that was a pretty funny game, wasn't it? Let's play G3. Oh, right. He plays G6. So why did I play G3? Okay, whatever. Um, let's just play standard chess. Oh, he's going to play knight of six. Okay. Um, uh, let's just play standard, I guess. C4, E4. I don't know which one. <laughs> he offers a draw. Uh, who's, who's Malakov playing? He's playing min lane. I, I got I gotta play for more. If, if I don't like my position on move 10, I'll offer a draw. I gotta play a little bit further. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I'm gonna watch this game really close. So let me see what's happening here. What's going on here? Wait, what? Wait, what the wait? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, what? Wait, did Minlay just hang B Or is the game glitched? Maybe the game's glitched. I don't know. Whatever. Wait, is the game glitched? Wait, did, did Minlay actually hang that or not? I don't want to refresh, but... Okay, whatever. I, I Okay, let's go A4. It must be glitched, I assume. But, okay, let's go Knight C4. Ah... <sighs> Yeah, I'll check later. If I actually see that Minlay just hung the hung that B sub pawn, I'm not gonna be very happy. Now yeah, logical. I guess I'll play ninety one and F four. I don't even know if ninety one or D two. I don't even know what the best move is. But okay, I'll take with the pawn. Go ninety three. Get a nice little blockade here. I actually like my position quite a bit. Do I go bishop a3 or not is also a question. Knight d3 is fine, but it's just so dry. I think I want imbalance, so I'm going to play bishop a3. Yeah, I, I think I want imbalance in this game, so I'll do it. I mean, I need to win the game, right? You think I... I mean, I assume I got to win this. And I'm probably going to sack some material here. I have an idea. And I think he just noticed what my plan is as well, which doesn't help. I mean, if he goes bishop c3, the bishop looks good, but it's also kind of way off sides relative to what's happening on the king's side. So we'll see. Thank you so much to um, AV for the prime, J Jelly Pick for the prime, Extra with the prime, and Marquis with the prime. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Thanks to Suzanne Illy for the thousand bits. Thank you, gifts for the hundred bits as well. Thank you. Is he? I mean, the thing is, I'm a little bit paranoid because when the game was wrong on the other uh, the other board, I'm worried that there's, like there's some kind of weird issue going on here. He plays queen of six. I'll play f four, of course, and e five, obviously. I mean, I have to win the game. Like, I, I, I draw just isn't going to cut it. I mean, as much as I as much as I respect Dubov, I, I ah, so he's going to try to reverse sack on me. He's going to try to sack on e five. Interesting. He wants to reverse sack. I like I like where his mind is at. Is it actually good or not? Is the question. I don't think it is good, but huh, it's very interesting. Queen f three takes e five. Maybe go here. Actually, no. I gotta go e five first. I might take with a pawn and go queen g three. I mean, this looks good. Is this great or just good? Is the question. Probably just good. Ah, uh, he has bishop d2, which hangs the pawn. Wait, if I take c6... No, he's not in time here, though, I don't think. So I can even just take c6. And now, I could take, but that doesn't look right. So I assume... Hmm. I might bring the queen back here. And take, of course. Probably I should have played rook d1 first. Wait, now I can't do it. Queen g3... It's headed towards a draw if I go queen g3. <sighs> Maybe I can play b4. No, b4 is way too ridiculous. I don't want to play queen g3. Maybe rook a d1. Wait, but then bishop g4. Okay, who cares? Let's just go here. Try to trade some queens. Again, going to be very hard to win this, but... Go here. He'll go here. We'll repeat. Yeah, of course. What do I do? Can't go B4. Somehow I need to activate. It's very hard to activate, though. I don't have a good activation. Billy's still playing. 91. How do I do this? I'll go here. I can obviously sack. I'm going to go here. It doesn't do anything, though. That's the problem. I, I, I'm going to try to do something where I give up this pawn, give up the pawn on b3 and go bishop e4 and f5. Whoa, he goes g5 here. Wow, I did not expect that. Um, Getting really tricky here for both of us. Wait. Oh, rook f5 he is rook g2. Shoot, I missed that. Oh, crud. I missed that completely. I'm going to lose this game, probably. But he's using time. Okay. No moves, no moves, you gotta move. Ah, uh, it's just a draw. Ah, uh, it's just a draw. Or not, or not, wait. Of 
crazy game. I mean, I was winning, I was losing, I was everything. I mean, I was everything in between. Hopefully Billy lost. Billy drew, okay. I mean, that game had everything. I was probably better at some point. Yeah, of course, computer wanted me to take the exchange. Not shocking, but I didn't see why this was winning. Ah, uh, uh, I have queen h6. That's why. Because if he trades, I, I get to open the diet. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, I forgot that I could actually attack h6 here. Because basically, the position I saw was something like this, for example. And I didn't... I mean, white is better here, but the queen side is very closed. And black can just sort of consolidate. That was the position that I saw. Um, but then somehow I was also better here. Oh I, was, oh, I was supposed to take with the queen, not the pawn. Yeah, because if I take, then I get to put the bishop on d5. And again, yeah, if I take with the queen, I probably win. But anyway, it goes on. Bishop d2, by the way, excellent move by Dubov. Fantastically good move. go here I mean I should play Queen g3 yeah I mean it's eh. b4 is apparently good it's funny because I actually I think I did consider b4 for like a split second but get this apparently Queenie oh I'm just supposed to go Queen I'm supposed to play like a computer and just go for the whole Queen side shebang <laughs> that's just funny I'm just supposed to go and ignore everything that's happening on the King side and go after the Queen side I do this Again, I play it. We get this repetition. I go here. Yeah, now g5, and it gets wildly out of control. I go here. And I, of course, forgot that after takes, he has rook g2. And when I take the queen, it's mate and uno. Go here. Yeah, and then it gets really, it gets really wild somewhere around here. And then he almost blunders with this. He misses rook, rook takes uh, g5, I think it was. E8. Yeah, here, of course, it's winning for black, but it's also very scary because I can move the Bishman mate you in one due to the classic lobster pincer. Yeah. Wow, even a6. Wow, this is a draw? Okay, whatever. Round, round, round 11. So if I win, it still might not be good enough, by the way. Okay, if I win this game... I'm just looking at the tiebreakers here. If I, if I win this game, what happens? Problem is if I play d5, he'll be solid. Okay, I think I'm just gonna play more on the edge. I wanna play d5. What's a good anti? I'm gonna play c5. Play here. I'm basically gonna play something to just stop a London altogether, basically. Probably it's no good, but I don't care. I just don't want him playing a London system, so I'm going queen b6 on move three. Probably not any good, but who cares? I think there's a Gavin for the Prime Metro Place for the Prime and Darshteen. Thank you to Master Devo for the Prime Napback. Thank you so much to Rod OM. Thank you to Abu uh, Dasich as well. Appreciate it. Okay. Hmm. He still wants to go Bishop F4. Play Knight C6. Probably I play D5 here if I had to guess. I don't know. Top three got money, but basically I, I just I don't want him playing a London, so I'd rather get some random nonsensical position than something that's sharp and unclear. I see you've been watching a Gad, of course, anti-London video. Uh, did he do an anti-London with C5 Queen B6? I mean, maybe I'll do a video on how, how to beat the London with black. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I should do. Next video, if I win this game, right? How to beat the London by playing C5 Queen B6 where your opponent can't go bishop f4 and you just win on the spot. Thank you so much to Tramp for the 24 and Bredo. Thanks so much. He did one a few years ago. Okay, I don't know if it was C5, Queen, B6. But, I mean, the only reason I'm playing this is because I just don't want him to get, like, 10 moves easily. I want us to play a game of chess from the get-go. It goes E3. So, he actually, he rejects it. So, now, I mean... I mean D5 looks correct. Don't I just get a big black center here with E5? It's looking a little bit questionable to me. Okay, so I'll go here and castles of course this actually looks really really good for me like really good I wonder if I should play e4 first though levy did an anti-gadden for anti-london video you should do an anti-levy video now right 
Yeah, but this looks kind of wrong to me. Like, actually kind of wrong. Now, if I trade and go queen... I know, this actually looks quite dubious to me. Quite dubious, in fact. This doesn't look right at all. I go here, hit the pawn, of course. H3, logical. I mean, I can play just rookie 8. Or bishop d7. I think I'm just going to go rookie 8 here. Expected that. I'm going to go here, and my idea is just to play e3 and go for the big kill immediately. Yeah, e3 is a huge threat here, but what? Wait, wait, wait a second. e3? Huh? Wait a second. e3 takes, takes, rook f2, bishop g3. e3? Knight b3 takes, takes, bishop g3. e3, knight's 4 takes, takes, bishop g3. I mean, it doesn't rook g3 at the end, but... I don't know. I've got to do it. I mean, it just it doesn't look right to me. I mean, I could be insane. This could just be silly, and I could just be in a lot of trouble here. But if I am, so be it. Okay, so I take, I go here. Got to go rook f3. Only move, as I see it. He takes, which is a move, but I thought I had queen e2 with mate. Wait, what is this? Because rook f1, I take and I mate him. He said, I think he just blundered. I think I just win the game here, unless I'm insane. Yeah, I think he just blundered. Because he can't go rook f1, because I just take and made him. Classic lobster pincer with the bishop and the rook. Yeah, this is this. I think this is just winning, but I don't want to get too cocky and throw the game. But where, where can he go? Because if he goes bishop f4, I go queen e1 mate. Goes bishop d2, I just eat the rook. Yeah, I win the game. I'm pretty sure I just win here. So now it's all up to, it's all on the Billy Kimba game. This should just be winning. Yeah, and the way that Minley is using time, I think it's very clear. It was 95, but now I also have bishop takes h3. I didn't actually see 95, so he found the only move that doesn't lose instantly, but... I mean, this looks disastrous here. Look at D's bishops. This queen... No, this isn't it. This isn't it. We're going to get the win. Okay. Hopefully, Billy Kimba, cross our fingers, does not actually survive. Go check and take. Yeah, he resigns. There's a win. Okay, let's watch Billy... Billy is in trouble here. Yeah, Billy's in trouble in this game, actually. Yeah. Bishop d5, queen b5. I mean, it's an end, it's a very simplified end game, so I don't really see how Billy's gonna win this game. I, th I think I'm gonna win. Yeah, I, I would go rook c1 or rook g1. Either one looks good. Probably rook c1 is safer to me. But white is low on time. He's low on time, though. That's the one problem for white. But you gotta move, you gotta move. Oh, wow. Does bishop e5 win? Bishop e5 and queen h4 is winning. Will he find it? He does. Wow. Yeah, queen h4. This will be number 51 or 52. I don't know. 51, I think. Oh, this is brutal, by the way. g6, queen h4, and you're actually just getting absolutely crushed on the king side. These bishops, the rook, and the queen. Thank you so much to Z skills RS for the, um, for the 10 months. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Actually, I guess I'll wait till it ends. But yeah, Queen H4. If Bishop E1 is the best move according to the computer, you're lost. So I'll be right back. Yay! Neeks underscore BD just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Yay.
Wait, what happened? Take with a pawn? Take? Okay, and this will be a draw at least. Okay. H5. King G5. Bomb builder 26. Bishop H4 and Bishop G5. Yeah, okay. This... Thanks. Yay. Yeah, Bishop G5. Okay, good. Stamper FTW just resubbed for 12 months. I mean, you can't just run with the king even. I mean, this... Okay. What? Uh, king H4 was a three? King G4 was a threefold. Oh, no. F6? Okay, it's a draw. Okay, good. Okay, I got scared there for a second, but it's good enough. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care at all. It's a draw. Game ends in a draw, and with that, I think that means we're going to win. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the standings. Okay, I win my game, but I have a ten. I have a nine point five lead um, advantage on tiebreak. If I, if nine if nine and a half point tiebreaker, fifty nine to forty nine point five is not good enough. I will um I'll be uh. I will be stunned, stunned out of my mind. So I think I'm gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. Yeah. Okay, tournament is over, and the winner with 9.5 points out of 11 is Grandmaster Hikaru. Myself, 9.5 slash 11, 70.5 tiebreaker. Second place, Daniil Dubov, 61 tiebreaker, um, and there we go. So we do end up winning our 51st title Tuesday, 51 in a row. Um, so yeah, it's all good. All right, very, very good.